normally when you ink a stone it's quite obvious uh, how the rolling pattern on the stone is but uh, with a king size stone I should take care now what I do is I divide in my head I divide the stone in four parts and then each part I ink uh, very concentrated and then uh, when I've done part one I go to part two when I have done part two I go to part three even if it's necessary uh, to walk around the press because I have all the time in the world to do that so then I walk there to roll here in part three and then the last part and then you have printed all the parts on the stone and you will see it comes out always quite good. Okay, I'll show you. You have seen that we did quite a lot of recharges of the ink roller and it's uh, quite important to do so. Um, take your time for it because if you come back to your uh, ink slab your roller is slightly damp and while rolling now this water film disappears. Continue the rolling until you hear a crisp sound. That means that there's no more water film in between the ink roller and the ink slab. And it's there that the charging really starts. And because of this all, I advise you also to replace the old ink uh, uh, sometimes because uh, it is mixing a little bit with water, what they call sludging, and then it's better to have a, a new fresh ink and you will see that it has a certain result in your a good result in your uh, prints part one here we go you roll slowly And you try to have oh, as little water as possible. So now I go to part two. In the meantime, as I said, you keep the other parts, you keep them damp. So you can also go over this one. I recharge my roller. see that this stone has to be inked completely so you have to take care not to get in it uh, with your clothes well as you see <clears throat> now I'm on the other side of the press so I walked around to do this part number three and you roll into the other sections but that doesn't matter this goes always quite well but at least I can keep a certain distance to the stone 
And that's important in this case. Now I go back to recharge my roller. Okay, I'm back in place. Now part four, the last part. inked and you can put a paper on it like that so for next week uh, we'll treat some aspects on storing uh, printing ink Hope to see you then.